Hey y'all, I'm back with a Project Life Process video and this is week 32. And again, I'm pulling things for my stash. Going um, in kind of a different direction with the color scheme that I've chosen this week. Um, kind of similar to the last few weeks, I've been stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and I'm really enjoying that. So I am starting by adhering my photos. I've placed down my cards, but I've also did, done some pre-journaling. Um, on that printable that says ate this, I um, put kind of like what we had for this Olympic party um, that we had at my parents' house. We had where we brought um, several different kinds of dishes and it was really it was super fun and so I used that car to type out what we had that day and then um I also added a little picture of my daughter holding a flag there at the bottom um and that was the opening night of the Olympics Now I'm just kind of looking through my stickers that I have sitting to the right of me um, to see if there's anything that I want to use. And at this point, I'm just kind of deciding, um, do I want to add a little label um, out of my little bin here? That Those are just print and cut labels that I've um, taken from. I think they were, I, I believe most of them are either Caitlin Schaefer or um, Sudo Calico, and I'll link those down below. And I just wrote that it was the opening ceremony, I believe. So now I'm gonna take the Kelly Perky label stamps and apparently I didn't clean off that one very good last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that onto some scratch paper. And then I'm gonna um, write something in the middle. I don't know really what I'm doing. Oh, I think I'm typing up something, which I don't know. Oh, I'm going to redo it because at this point I realized that I didn't have it centered very well. And I think it takes me like three times to get this done. Went ahead and just typed it out first and then I um, stamped right on top. I think that made a, such a big difference because then I was able to get the stamp centered how I wanted it. So I typed out my little caption and then I simply um, stamped right on top of that, which worked out great. So I'm going to use this circle label and I'm simply going to uh, stamp that down and then I'm going to take this little fork, knife, and plate and I think I originally wanted to, um, I think I didn't like the way that that turned out because you couldn't really see the way that it looked. So I think I originally wanted to stamp it on that blue label but then I realized pretty quickly that the plate and the knife and the spoon or the fork didn't really show up very well. And so what I ended up doing is just stamping it right onto that card and I love the way that looked. And then I double stamped Friday because that was a Friday that we got together to do that. So it was super fun. We had like, so we, what we did was we had like all the countries that were involved in the Olympics and, um, Every, per, well, like most of the people in our family, plus a couple of friends, like chose um, one of the countries and we brought a dish from that country. So I think my sister had Thailand, so she brought like pad thai and uh, my mom made, I think she made like Swedish meatballs and my husband, he made something from... I can't really remember, but it was like a garlic soup and it had sausage in it and it was and it was, or it was like potatoes and sausage. And it was probably one of the most delicious things ever. It was super simple brothy soup. And I can't remember where that was from. It might've been um, like Switzerland, um, but it's written on there. I just don't remember. Overall, it was super fun. I would really highly recommend doing something fun like that. So on that particular um, picture, I wanted to stamp directly on it, but I didn't like the way it turned out. I was under the impression that stays on really worked on any type of like photo paper, but I'm having difficulty with this. I think that's a Canon selfie paper there, which is pretty glossy. And so what I ended up doing is finding a little oval label and stamping the hello right onto that instead of stamping it right onto the paper, which I like that because it gave it a pop of color. So I'm going to add a couple of little wood veneer stars and then I've done some journaling on my, um, cards. 
besides the journaling that I did that was typed, I actually hand wrote some journaling. And then I add a little heart and an arrow. And then I'm pretty much gonna, that's probably gonna complete the layout at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Let me know if you have any questions and I will um, talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.